Today guys I bring you this great farm for all the new Revenge of the Cartels event legendaries. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So if there are any of the new Revenge of the Cartel event legendaries you want to farm this is the way to do it. Now the event beholds some decent stuff so this will no doubt help you out and it's done quite simply. Firstly, gain access to the Villa Ultraviolet the way you normally would. Once here, power through the mission and you will eventually get to Joey Ultraviolet's room. Now once you are in this room, after you kill a few adds, two underbosses will spawn in. The first one, you will take off its shield or first health bar and it will switch place with a second underboss. They then both appear as normal when Joey enters the room or enters the fight. Now these two underbosses I do believe can be completely random and they do have their own very own loot pool. These are the people who we will be farming so it probably makes sense to see what's in their loot pool. Ok so Josie Bite has in her loot pool the OPQ system, the needle gun and the firewall shield. Franco Firewall in his loot pool has the OPQ system, the needle gun and the firewall. The roaster in her loot pool has the no pew pew, the grease trap and the ice burger. Fish Slap has in his loot pool the Yellow Cake, the Watson Shield and the Fish Slap Grenade. The Tenderizer in his loot pool has the Grease Trap and the Ice Burger. So those are what's in each on the boss's loot pool. And like I said go in here any two of these can spawn in. So what you want to do is simply kill the two underbosses without killing Joey Ultraviolet. Then once you have you have a choice you can either fast travel back to the start of the map and run back here. The path will be clear by the way, you don't have to fight your way back, you just run straight through here and you just jump straight down into the hole and straight into the battle again. Or, which is much quicker, you can just kill yourself. This is the I always do, but it is indeed costly. But if you don't care about money, killing yourself is much better as you spawn right back above the room so you can just jump straight back down, no running involved. But like I said, if you like your cash, you need your cash, fast travelling will be fine, you just gotta get a jog on. Once you get back here though people, the encounter will restart again and both underbosses will spawn back in and both underbosses will be the same, they don't rotate within one instance. Now if you do want different underbosses because you're after a particular loot, simply quitting out and loading back up does this and here you only have to kill enemies to open up the mansion door where another underboss can appear and you run straight through to the mansion as well. There's no first group of ads you have to kill to open up that first gate, you run straight through to the mansion door. Again, a underboss will appear here, you have to kill the underboss before the door will open. But once that door does open people, you don't have to go and look for a mask or anything like that, you can jump straight down into the battle with Joey Ultraviolet. And with him will be a chance of having two different underbosses spawn. If the one's there you want, simply kill him, fast travel or kill yourself and come back here. Rinse and repeat, it is as simple as that, just don't kill Joey Ultraviolet as it ruins the process. Weapons I suggest you take in to do this if you're doing it on Mayhem 6 Plus is anything powerful, the sickle, the lob, the redistributor isn't too bad, the yellow cake if you have one already, the anarchy will probably be your best bet though, it works amazingly, as remember if you do choose to fast travel and save that cash, you keep those stacks. And also you won't have to worry about ammo as vending machines are both at the start of the map, and just before you jump down into Joey Ultraviolet's room. So yeah guys this is how you farm all of the new Revenge of the Cartels legendaries and I hope this helps you out. On that note guys we have come to the end, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps me out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.